Well, today let's put on our overly bright shirts and our douchebag sun visors and crack out a leftover beer from last night's slumber party. Let's get into the review for the Golf Club 2. Oh goodness. And that chip is in there for birdie. If you're unfamiliar with the Golf Club series, it's a play on words, get a golf club dance. Just like every other golf game, but tries to focus more on engaging the community, having golf societies, and just a regular golfing experience like slow gameplay and ball busting close calls. Nothing like a blue ball situation when you miss a hole by one inch. Am I right? Alright, so you might be asking me, hey, Dum Dum, what is there to do in this game? Well, that's a great question. We have career mode where you set up your own events, and in these events you can pick the rounds, course, difficulty, realisticness, and more for each event. So you can essentially design the events however you like, and depending on how well you place in the events and while you're against computers in these events, uh, you'll earn credits, and these credits are for buying stuff and leveling up your society. So there's two types of societies in this game, but the first one we we're talking about is the society you make in career mode. All the members in your society in career mode are bots. And by playing and earning credits in career mode events, you can unlock stuff for your characters, as well as different clubhouses, emblem shapes, and you can also get more stuff as well. So I'm male and switching to female gender, and uh, there's 45 seconds more of this uh, loading footage. Besides the fact that the loading times can be slower than a barrel of moist tax refunds, the customization eh, is barely mediocre, and I'll say that because there is a decent amount of free stuff you can put on your characters, and there's um, a decent amount of stuff you can eventually buy for your character, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much because you're looking at their backside. Uh, besides, the, the hair looks atrocious in this game, so you're going to have to cover that with a hat. So the opposite of my YouTube channel, this is something pretty cool. This is called a course designer and there's a bunch of different things that you can put on the courses and you can develop them whether they have a bunch of trees, rocks, and water at the start and then there's a bunch of things that you can put around and making it look cool. The highlight around course designer is so people can play your courses and you can play other people's courses, rate them, favorite them, and play other courses they make later on problem we are having though is it takes forever to sculpt the land if you want to sculpt it sometimes it can take 35 seconds for me to place down an object and moving around just takes a very long time it's a very frustrating process making your own course so that is one downside and just like my ex-girlfriend, the visuals are eh, so-so. Uh, it does have a lot of problems with uh, motion, surprising that it's a golf game, but when there's pan shots or the golf ball goes really far and the camera's trying to catch it, trees will pop in and out, visuals will weirdly line and shade over the area really quickly. Uh, but as a good-looking game, eh, it, it looks alright, it's passable. Gameplay wise for golf, we really just cover the basics, such as the game suggesting what club to use, wind effects, hill incline and declines, and a grid to show you the elevations around you when you're at the putting zone. The controls are good enough for me not to rage, sometimes I feel like that's not where it should have gone, but hey, I'm no operating system. You can also change whether you'll add arc to the ball and hit it forward or more to the left or right, which helps you in certain situations, like especially me if I'm prone to accidentally swing too much to the right, I put a little left on the ball to counteract my stupid mistake. And for some wickedy weird reason, the way to look around the course is awkward as fooch. There's like no free camera you can quickly use, which this is a shame here. I mean, there's a camera you can awkwardly look left and right around and then there's no quick way to move around the course and then you awkwardly move up and down instead of having a free camera to kind of like fly yourself around like a Halo Forge ball, but unfortunately it's this just clunky, weird camera mess. So, we also have online societies, just like the career societies, you can create one and make events for them, create your own name, an emblem for your society as well, the difference between this one and career one is, well, this one's online, other people can go to it. You can join a society and choose to make it your quote-unquote official society and become a member. 
you can still go to other societies and compete in events there, even if you don't have that society as your quote unquote main society. So when it comes to the society system, it just everything kind of falls in very mediocre to me. Nothing is done extremely well and doesn't feel extremely engaging, but it doesn't feel like they totally messed up. You can be a part of a uh, society play hangout setting where matches can be set up, but even with that and society leaderboards and uh, some stuff to try to engage, it just feels like all of it just comes off mediocre. So guys, and the one girl who's watching this, all together this game need to be more about bringing gaming golfers together. I feel like we as a community will have to muster up the drive to forget about the inconsistency with loading, the few actual ways to play and connect with players, and the limited level up in society system. The golf club too is a disaster and has promise, but only feels like a game if you really need that golf fix. Well, thanks everyone for watching the review for the golf club too. All right, and so for any of you lovely creatures watching this review and own the game or is getting the game, don't forget to join my society or just check it out. Just go to the societies and type in the fairway. It's on the top left of the screen right now. As I'm speaking, there's an event going on right now, right now, as well as I'll be making sure there's events in our society to compete in for the first month of this game's release. So have a good day, everyone. And uh, yeah.